Hello there, everyone. It is I, your host, TPE Freedom. And today, I will be demonstrating some commands on GNU plus Linux. This is my little Arch install, and I'm using Xterm for this, but it doesn't really matter. Anyway, so if you want to list, list what? A directory is just ls to go to your home directory. That just shows you all these directories and files under the working directory, which is the directory of the file system that you are currently in in this terminal. To go to the home directory, it's just cd ls, and that's where I was. To go to the root, it's cd and then forward slash. Now ls that this hyphen la shows well appears to start a different way with things like owners and permissions and whatnot. Now going back to the root of the file system. And the, those two error meter I just created because I thought I was going to use though. So I created those two those two directories when I was partitioning was install thing I was going to use them for, for like emulation and you know, virtualization of like older systems. Haven't really used them much though. So you know, those are this there. Anyway, bin slash bin is your system binaries. Yes, so we can go look in there. CD forward slash bin. You need to actually type the, the full command. Now we can listen. That's a lot of binaries because what do you expect? And I'm trying to read what these different ones are. There's so many of these. And all these from things that are red, looks like, like those would be ones with tighter permissions. I'm not actually sure about that, but based on cron tab, there's nothing special about those. The DD is not listed, which is interesting. So I'm honestly not entirely sure as close to me in terms of X term because I haven't looked up at the config yet. But going back to the root file system, boot is for step related to booting your system. It, it's startup. Dev, that's, hold on. I, guess, I think it's devices. Just check to make sure. Yep, that is in fact devices. ETC, or etc., is, I guess, is stuff for thick, for example, has a lot of config files and extra files that it needs to function. For example, it's where you'll find stuff for your package managers, and there's for some more core configuration and the like. Yeah, that's what, although there's also dot can, slash dot can pig in your home directory, although that's usually hidden. GNU is for GNU geeks, a package manager I've installed by GNU, by the GNU project. Home is your home directory. And there's at least normally a home directory for each user. I have three. And and next, There's lib and lib64, which are for libraries, lost and found. Uh, I, for, 
I kind of forgot what that's for. I think it's for like stuff involving, like I'm guessing that means files that are like screwed up somehow. Oh, I'm not fully sure of that. As I already mentioned, mount is for mounted drives. Opt is for like, optionals. It's for other stuff. Proc is isn't yeah. Proc temp and var. Also with special things like temporary stuff. Virtualized server stuff like changes during the system. All systems running. Root is the root user of the system. Hold on. Yep. Version denied. So, some stuff for the root user. Sbin run is getting more files. I haven't seen much of that. Sbin is like bin, but for like even more important binaries. Insists. I forgot what it was. Yeah, user is for like shared files.